Tonight, a bill making texting while driving a primary offense is now on the fast track of becoming law in the state of Florida. It is a giant step forward in our 14-month push to drive change at our state capitol. Following today's bill filing in Tallahassee, we return to speak to someone whose life forever changed at the hands of a texting driver. News 6's Troy Campbell has his reaction. Well, I'm optimistic because I know you guys don't give up. So... Kudos to Channel 6. Jeff Van Reeren says tonight has been years in the making, dating back to April 1st, 2013. Van Reeren run over alongside two other men in Brevard County while shrimping on the O'Galley Causeway. Dragged under an SUV, thrown into a concrete wall. The two other men died. The driver telling officers he looked down to check a text message before losing control. Yeah. What if it's your family members? Well, that should hit home. Now, House Bill 33, with both a Republican and a Democrat sponsoring the legislation, making texting and driving a primary offense, meaning officers would be allowed to pull you over if they see you on your phone. Something as serious as people dying, it, it takes this long to pass something. It just seems absurd. Van Ruren says he frequently shouts to drivers he witnesses texting behind the wheel, taking his second chance at life to help save others. Aggravation of the cop pulling them over, license registration, proof of insurance, and holding them up from wherever they're going to, whether it's work, a party, you know, go out to eat, whatever, they're going to be annoyed enough to, I think, really give it a lot of thought. Now, this newly filed bill it has not been voted on yet, but again, it has both Republicans and Democrats supporting it. If it does pass into law during its scheduled session, it would take an effect in July. Ginger? Troy, thank you. And he's right. We will not give up. Uh, visit ClickOrlando.com slash driving change to learn more about our efforts to make distracted driving a primary offense.